Hey everyone, I recently picked up a very small little Game Boy and I posted it on Instagram and I actually got a lot of questions about it so I thought I would answer it here today because it's a pretty intriguing device and a lot of people see it and they can't imagine it actually working but it is in fact the world's smallest Game Boy and it does properly work. You can actually play Game Boy games on it, you can play Game Boy Color games and I believe you can even play Sega games but I actually haven't gone ahead and done that yet. So here's a look at the outside, it's actually from a company called Pocket Sprite, I didn't actually make this uh, but it's made of a really nice soft touch plastic and the little screen that you're actually seeing on the front is actually a very, very tiny OLED and then it's got a little bit of Gorilla Glass in front of that and then I've actually got a screen protector on it which is why it looks a little bit smudgy. Uh, but that's basically the outer component. It has a very small mono speaker that sounds very tinny. Uh, two little buttons in A and B, a D-pad, a start and select and then a power on button. Now, a lot of people see it and they go, well, how does it compare to the Game Boy Micro? Because there is, of course, a very small Game Boy Advance console called the Micro, and yeah, there's no comparison. You could probably cram about three of these into a Game Boy Micro. It's that small. And hopefully the little footage here actually does it justice. But when you actually compare it to a Game Boy Color cartridge, it really just shows everything. The fact that this thing is smaller than the cartridge it's actually replicating blows my mind. So when you turn it on, you actually get a little bit of an instruction on how to put games onto it. It has built-in Wi-Fi, and then what you do is you connect through that Wi-Fi to the actual emulator, and then you bring over the ROMs that you want to play, and then you select a ROM, and you're in. So this is actually Pokemon Red, and the screen has a little bit of a flicker on video. You don't actually see any flickering in real life. It's just because of the refresh rate of the screen. Uh, but you may see that the text is a little bit hard to read, and that is actually the exact same in person. So it's not an exact one-for-one -one replica of the pixels. It's actually, I believe it's 25% smaller than an actual Game Boy resolution. So it does look very blurry and playing games that you already know very well really does help. But for example, if I was playing this just, you know, on my own, if I wasn't filming it with a nice big zoom and focus on, I wouldn't be able to see the, the level of the enemy that I'm actually fighting, for example. I'd be able to see, you know, what, what level I am because that's a little bit clearer. But the little, little details, you really do struggle to see them. But the cool thing about this is, it's it's a novelty. It's, it's a really cool novelty. And they're actually not that expensive. So I'm going to leave a link down below to the actual website where you can buy them. This is like the most basic of basic models. I believe they actually sell a luxury model that's actually made of metal. So I have no idea what that's like. But, uh, but this one's great if you do actually want to pick it up. It plays Game Boy games, Game Boy Color games, and Sega, like I said. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this little look at the world's smallest Game Boy. Uh, it's really cool and if you, if you do want one, honestly don't hesitate. They're, they're really great. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.